Hello friends! Today I'm going to show you how to build a cute Minecraft puppy house. Let's get started. These are the items that you'll need in order to build this house. So you'll need 235 white wool, 28 white stained glass, 21 birch planks, 6 ladders, 2 black stained glass, 1 birch door, 1 birch trap door and 1 black wool. We're going to start out by making the paws and front legs. So we've got two across and it goes up to four high. So we're going to go two across on the front and then the back of the paw is four high. Lovely, let's do one more. Leaving a one gap in between. There we go, that's the front paws. Let's add this second layer now. So this is in total five high and we need to leave space for the door. So we'll go one, two, three, four and five. And the same here, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> and we'll pop a space in for the door just there. Now let's do the back leg. So you can see here we've got five across with one above it and the window for four and then one more right at the back here. So let's do that. So starting diagonally one back from the paw here, we're gonna do one, two, three, four and five. Pop one wall block in the middle. Then we need two white stained glass and one more wall. And for the rest of the window, just pop two more glass on top of that one. We'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, and five. One in the middle, two white stained glass, one more wool, and then two more glass on top. Let's continue with this side piece here. So here we are, we're leaving one blank square of grass here, and we're starting from here. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll pop the last four in here. And we'll do the same on the other side. So again, leaving the one blank grass square, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, and four there. Looking at this back layer here, we've got this block that we've added already, and we've got another three here. So let's go and pop those in on either side first. Okay, so from this block we've already added, we're gonna do one, two, and three there, and the same on the other side. If you look at the back here, you can see that there is a, actually a gap just there. Let me just take this out so you can see more easily. So we're going to do two wool blocks, two glass blocks, and leave a double height space here. So we've got our two wool blocks and our two glass blocks, and we're leaving a space in the middle. Above that, for the last part of the body, we've got these six white blocks here. So we're going to place a temporary block just here, and in front of that, we're going to place our six white wool. We've got one, two, three four, five, six, and we can get rid of that temporary block. And then just above these glass windows, one, two, and three white wool to complete the body. There we go, so this is what you should have so far. You should have your front paws, got a back leg here. This is gonna be the back of the dog, and another back leg there. Give you a quick view from above as well. We've got a three by three hole going on here in the middle. So we're going to build the tail next, and the tail is a little bit trickier because it isn't symmetrical. I just freehanded this, and if you would like to do that, you totally can, no problem at all. But I'm going to give it to you layer by layer, so hopefully it shouldn't be too hard to build. So if we look at the bottom layer here, this column is the one we've already built as the back of the dog. So we're just going to be looking from this block to the left, and upwards of course. So let's go make this bottom layer. So for the bottom layer, you're going to need seven blocks, you're going to go three across another three direct behind it, and then one in the middle. Layer two, you put a cross in first, and then this block at the back corner here gets an extra one. Layer three is another cross, but it's one square further back. So I've got one, two, three, four, and five there. Layer four is a T-shape. So on top of the cross you've just done, do another three white blocks, and then on this side only, you pop one more, and you don't put anything on this side. Layer five is an L shape. So you're going to go one, two, and three. Layer six is another L, but pointing a different direction. You're going to go one, two, and then three. Layer seven is also an L shape. <laughs> so we've got one, two, and three. Layer eight is right on top of this, and it's just two. And then the final layer nine is just one. And there you go, you've got your tail. So for the next part, we're actually going to pop into the interior of the house. And we're going to add this column here. So as you come through your front door, leave one space, and we're going to start here. And we're going to go up by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Lovely. And then you want to put one 
birch planks on top of that. There we go. We're going to add four more birch planks. And th this is the front of the dog here, <laughs> where the front paws are. So we're going to go forward one, going to go across the front here, and back one. Let's add the rest of this floor in now. So you've got three white wool at the back. You've got three white wool on either side. And then you're going to do six white wool right at the front here. You might notice that we've missed out the neck, so let's go and fill that in now. So pop a piece of white wool on the bottom of these birch planks here. And then your last three go on the bottom of the three white wool we put at the back. So you should just have a one wide hole to get up through. Let's add the nose next. So going from the front here, you want to place a temporary block just there. And then we're going to go three across two up and then we're going to go another three across here and then you want to pop your nose onto your doggy <laughs> and add the rest of the snout in there lovely next we're going to do his face so at this side here we've got one that is five blocks high pop another temporary block just here behind the dog's snout and we're going to go up by five so that's one two three four five and then we've got three centered on this one lovely We'll do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, and five, and then three just there. It's time to pop his eyes in, so you'll need your black stained glass. So just above the snout, right at the center of this line of five here, you pop your two eyes in, then we're gonna fill in the rest of the face. So in between the eyes, the layer above, and the layer above that. It's now time to add on the ears. So there are seven pieces of wool in the ears. So you're going to take your topmost corner block on the head and you're going to go across three, put another three above that and then a point on the ear right on the top. We'll do the same on the other side. We're gonna go across three, three on top of that and one on top. There we go, we've got the front of his face now. Let's add the side in. So if you look at the example model here, you can see this is the three that we already built. So we're just going to add on this three by four here. So just under the ear here, we're going to come across three, one, two, three. And then with your white stained glass, another three, another three just under that. And right under where you put the glass. We'll do the same on the other side. So you've got three white wool just under the ear. You've got three white glass just under that three more white glass and then three white wool under your glass. So you're going to pop a temporary block just here and we're going to put another little wall of four here. So that's one, two, three and four and do the same on the other side. Pop me a temporary block in and we'll go one, two, three and four up. We're going to need another temporary block here and you're going to pop the back of the head on. So I decided to put another window in here so we're going to go across for three with your white wool. Then you've got your white stained glass, a too high window there. And then on, to top it off, more white wool. And we've just got the top of the head left now, so let's fill it in. So you've got three between the ears. You've got a five just behind that, another five, and then finally a three. And there we go, that's our puppy house on the exterior. If we just pop inside, we'll pop in a floor downstairs. So leave two blocks and then you'll pop your floor in. I decided to use birch planks, but of course you could use whatever you like. We'll grab our ladders and we'll place six of them right here. And if we head up, we can pop our trap door in. There we go. Pop our door on as well. Beautiful. And that's our puppy house completed. I've got a few examples for you, so stay tuned if you'd like to see some variations and some decoration. So here is one decor suggestion. As you can see, I've popped a bell on here. Can you use it as a doorbell if you like? Inside, <laughs> I hope you don't mind my slightly strange uh, choice of pictures here. Uh, we've got a couple of tools hanging up. We've got some storage. The, uh, the ladder does make it a little bit awkward to have this as a livable area, but you can definitely fit in everything you should need. So you've got your crafting table, you've got your furnace, and a few other tool items as well. 
and some uh, interesting decoration. <laughs> so heading on upstairs. Here we go. Got a little bed area, a reading nook, some other tool blocks and a little sofa. The upstairs room is definitely my favourite because you can see out in all directions. The view up here is just my testing world. But in a normal world, you'd have a lovely view from these big windows. Let's have a look at a few variations for our little house. If you don't quite have enough white wool to get started, how about doing it in stone? It still looks really cute as a grey puppy. You can even change the glass colour to be light grey. I changed the wood on this one as well to spruce. Or if you're in a sandy area, how about this cute smooth sandstone puppy? This one still has the bitch, but he's got clear windows. And you don't need to stick to natural colours. How about this adorable pink puppy? I've even changed its eyes and its little nose there. Oh, and the inside for this one is all crimson as well. It's really bright. Got one more uh, variation for you. How about this guy? There's no one that says you've got to have it all in one colour. So we've got a little patch dog here. Some light grey, some white patches, different coloured eyes and different coloured windows as well. And I think he is absolutely adorable. Whichever colour you choose to make, I think you will end up with a really cute puppy. There's lots you could do and I would absolutely love to see it. So if you do end up making it, please tag me on Instagram if you upload a picture of your build. I would absolutely love to see it. So that's all for today's video. I really hope that you found it useful. If you did, please hit that like button and I'll see you all next time. Bye.